Hello, my name is Shitesh Rastho, and this is my podcast. I wanted to make a podcast for a very long time, but the technical things stopped me. I just don't know how to start a podcast. I still don't know, so I've decided that I'm going to do my podcast on YouTube. I I don't care whether anyone watches it or not, anyone listens to it or not, because there's nothing to watch in here. But I don't care whether anyone listens to it or not. But this is something like a voice note for me. uh but i do wish that people listen to it and uh, and i would hope that it will help them in changing their lives as i've changed my life uh but how did i change my life so i still remember that 5 years back uh it was in 2014 uh i still remember the month it was may and i was strolling around in my apartment which was quite empty at that time and uh, i was frustrated because the things that i have done nothing uh, ever became successful so when i came to mumbai i decided that i wanted to become a filmmaker and uh, i was not particularly much into writing thing but i used to write and i used to write a lot but i never published anything at that time i i wanted to only become a filmmaker and the uh, and the process of filmmaking was failing me again and again i was just a lot of people i have did a lot of projects but then i made my own film not one i made two films two feature films of full length feature films and uh, somehow both of the films never got a release and i wrote a book as well which was a collection of seven stories called amphibory it never got a published uh, it never got a publishing house and it never got published so i was quite demotivated at that time and i and i just couldn't understand that what was going wrong with me and, and why everything was uh, against me after doing everything that was that was in the rule book of success I I just didn't know uh, why I was failing again and again. I wanted to know the reason. That 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 was the thing that I still uh, compliment myself about. That most people when they go through failure, they start blaming themselves, and they and they don't know anything about it. They just keep living the life that they are living. But I still remember that that uh, moment in the daytime when I was strolling in the apartment. I I realized that I had there, there is something wrong with everything that I have done. So there has to be a right method. because people just like me who are less inclined than me was who are who have uh, read less books who have done less work are more successful than me so there has to be something that i'm doing wrong i was ready to do the hard work and i was doing the hard work but still the success eluded from me so what was the reason and at that moment i was searching for uh, the right kind of advice that would change my life and i was going through a lot of books i was reading a lot of books and i was frustrated and i was talking to a lot of people and everyone was giving me this advice that you know uh, this phase comes in life and when you don't know what to do and everything is black in front of you you just keep doing it so uh, those advices were good but they were very abstract at that moment i didn't want the abstract advices at that moment i wanted the ad- advices that would actually help me some guidelines some rules or something that would tell me that if you do these things exactly then good things will happen to you then success will follow you so what were those excess what were those rules that i uh, wanted to learn about my life so at, at at that moment uh, i remember there was there was there was a folder in my computer and there were a lot of films that i have downloaded at that time and one of those films was a documentary called the secret and i had seen secret before at my friend's place and i had discarded that entire documentary and the philosophy of that documentary say saying that it doesn't life doesn't work that way uh, so there's a there's a thing in the secret called the law of attraction which says that whatever you think happens so if you're thinking wrong things the wrong things will happen if you're thinking right things the right things will happen and i didn't believe in that it 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 seemed like a little bit of wishy washy kind of uh, thought process and uh, i took and to and to summarize life in certain set of rules and uh, this is how uh, things should be done was not something that i was looking for i would rather like to believe that life was a very random occurrence and i would like to believe in the luck factor i would like to believe in the uncertainty of life and uh, uh, but uh, at that day i decided to watch the secret again just for the heck of it i thought that i would watch just 15 minutes of the secret and uh, see where it goes so uh, out of boredom i start watching that secret and and as i was watching that documentary that day things were becoming clear in my head 
before watching that documentary i was blaming everyone for my lack of success i was i was like it was like uh, the producer backstabbed me my friends backstabbed me so he was i was blaming uh, every friend of mine i was blaming the circumstances that i was born and i was blaming my family i was blaming my friends i was blaming every person that i have ever met in my life i was also blaming the people that i have not met so i was say uh, i was i was like uh, this negative person who was blaming the nepotism of the country who was uh, blaming the attitude of the people and the way the world runs i wanted to change the world and uh, and why i wanted to change the world was because i think the world was not working according to my own thinking which was a wrong thing to think actually so when i was watching secret first of all the thing that i accepted while watching that documentary was that everything that happens in your life is your responsibility so you cannot blame other people for it so i started to retrospect after watching that documentary and i realized that everything that i have done or everything that i have that has happened to me was a result of my own thinking so when i was retrospecting i i realized that everything that happened to me was something that i had already envisioned i was too afraid of releasing my film and getting the uh, criticism from those films because i didn't think i made a uh, good film so i i restrained myself i said inside my mind that i didn't make a good film so i, I don't want to get released but i thought that just because it's existing inside my mind is not going to happen so uh, in real in uh, conscious mind i wanted the films to release but the deep down i i had this fear that if the film was released they uh, there will be a lot of criticism that people won't like it and uh, i will be a failed filmmaker and Uh, the friends who backstabbed me i already had this fear inside my mind that my friends is going to backstab me or and my friends are going to you know uh, uh, do wrong things to me and they did and they did all the wrong things that i had imagined in the manner that i had imagined that they would do it so uh, everything that when the, i saw the documentary it seemed that everything that i thought came out to be true and i and for that moment i actually believed in that documentary i still believe in that documentary so but the documentary is very abstract that's why a lot of people after even after watching it declines that that theory even works but it worked for me so there was a thing called law of attraction in the documentary which said that whatever you think uh, becomes your reality and uh, i was like so much into failure and a depressed state of mind depression is a very clinical term i shouldn't be using it too loosely but i was in a very bad state of mind i was i wasn't suffering from a nervous breakdown or depression i was just i was just clueless i was just uh, not happy about the circumstances that were happening around me and at that moment i was ready to take anything as a particular belief i was looking for some beliefs i was looking looking for some set of rules that would change everything inside my life and i was ready to believe in anything so the first theory that came in front of me was this from secret called law of attraction that whatever you think becomes and it talks about writing about writing your goals and uh, and uh, remembering them and uh, reading them again and again every day so that uh, you so that it starts coming true and one of the basic things that it taught about everything was that when you write your goals you don't write realistic goals you write goals that you actually want to achieve now for a moment when you are writing those goals it might sound that they might not be achievable or they might not be possible but it doesn't matter what what it said that whatever exists inside your mind you just write that down whatever that goes in whatever capacity if you if you do not have any money right now and if you want to become a billionaire write it down if you want to if you want to become a superstar film actor write it down if you want to become the number one film director write it down so i wrote down all the things that i wanted to have and uh, i i also give the deadlines which is the most important thing you have to give the deadlines to your goals you have to because deadlines actually give you urgency of achieving that goal and uh, uh, the most important thing that i learned from the documentary is that never care about the process like if you have written some goal like i want to get 1 lakh rupees in one month you don't have to care or worry about where that 1 lakh rupees is going to come you just have to worry about that goal you just have to read that goal again and again without giving a thought about why and how that process is going to happen how you are going to get 1 lakh rupees now most people do understand that most people think that how will anything happen if you don't have a plan for something how will anything happen if you don't know the process how will like if i if i want to earn 1 lakh rupees i will i will have two three ideas inside my mind like i will i will do this i will do that i will i will uh, there, there are two three ways in which i can earn that money but the problem with that process is that 
when you when you define a process of achieving your particular goal you actually cut down all the other ways which you haven't thought about it at the moment but you have you will cut all the ways in which you can actually achieve the money so you don't have to think about the process at that moment uh, the process will be evident to you in few days the better ideas will come so when you open your mind to the process there will be infinite possibilities of you reaching to that goal so uh, if you, if you have read mathematics you you might be knowing that there there are infinite ways of reaching from a point to b point it can be a straight line it can be a curved line it can be any kind of a uh, journey that you can take from a to b similarly uh, between you and your goal there are infinite ways you can achieve that goal but people don't want to understand that people want to be uh, certain about everything people don't want to take risks people don't want to uh, have this idea that uh, there can be a method which does not exist inside their mind it can be possible as well because after reading a lot of biographies after reading a lot of success stories you think that if i do that what this person this particular person has done i will be very successful but it doesn't happens that way so uh, we try to emulate the success of other people that this is not the right method because that particular method may be have worked for him uh, because of his circumstances you don't know about his circumstances and you don't know about his environment in which he was raised in but there are certain things that worked for him does not mean that it will work for you as well because what he is telling you about his success is just uh devoid of certain information which he himself doesn't know contributed to his success so you have to make your own path you have to make your own uh, direction in which you want to go so what i did was i i just wrote all the goals down and uh, i was i wasn't getting any job i called few people so there wasn't any any job for me and uh, uh, there there was no hope of getting any money and i had to pay my rent and, and there were so many bills that were collecting and uh, i have to pay that so i wrote down that i need this certain amount of money for for paying all these things and i wanted uh, this much this many things for me so one day what happened is i i just wrote all these things down and i was reading it again and again and again and again and one day one of my friends called that he wanted me for a certain job and uh, so it was a free job and I, i wasn't getting paid for it so i was like okay it was a favor that i had to do to a friend i wasn't doing anything anyways i was a jobless guy so i decided that okay i will i will go there and i will it was a half a day job so i will do as a favor to him because he has done a lot of favors for me as well so the distance between my home to that particular place where i had to go and uh, perform that particular task was like 45 minutes so i picked my bike and i went to that particular place but throughout the journey i kept saying to me that i will get uh, 25000 rupees in my bank account today and i will also uh, get Three uh, thousand rupees from the job that I'm going to do. Though there, there, there it was, though it was already made clear to me that uh, it's a free job and I'm not going to get paid anything. But I decided, what the hell? I, I will just decline this, uh, this truth about the thing, and I, I will just uh, lie to myself that I'm going to get paid for it. And uh, throughout that 45 minutes journey to that particular place, I just kept. Uh, saying to myself that I'm going to get twenty-five thousand rupees, I'm going to get three thousand rupees, I'm going to get twenty-five thousand rupees from somewhere, I'm going to get three thousand rupees from this job. I reached there, and I, it was a photo shoot basically, which I had to do, and I had the camera, so I had to do the photo shoot. So I did the photo shoot, and the producer who was who was uh, actually uh, doing all those things, uh, by the end of the photo shoot, got so happy with my work, he actually paid me three thousand rupees, and exact amount. it was exact amount and i know you won't believe what i'm trying to say but even i didn't believe at that time that this certain kind of thing that happened but he gave me exact 3000 bucks to me and uh, i took it and i and i developed my faith into it and uh, i was happy so i came to meet my friend who actually asked me for the, for this job and i was i was smoking with him in the balcony and i was talking to him and suddenly a phone call comes at the same time I, I, that i was there in the phone call comes and it was from my hometown and uh, the, uh, one of the producers that i met two years back had called me and and told me that uh, there was a script that needed to be doctored so the script was already written i have to make the changes according to the script structure and all and uh, he wanted me to correct it he wanted to make me better uh, make it better and uh, everything and he told me that have you checked your bank account and i said no i haven't so he told me that if you check your bank account i just in i just uh get it at 25000 rupees to your bank account and uh, and you just uh, uh, take a flight and come back to the uh, come back to this city and i will pay you 25000 more uh, for the job and you just have to do it in a 3 4 days job you just have to write a script you just have to doctor the script and you can leave after that 
and I was surprised because for 45 minutes I was saying the same thing to me and it started to happen. So when the, so when the secret says that there, there, there are some uh, uh, invisible rays that goes out of your mind and the whole universe conspires for you to get it. Like if you have read this book called Alchemist by Paulo Coelho, there's a, there's a great poor quote which says that anything that you desire, the whole universe conspires for you to get it. Uh, I don't, at that time I didn't believe in God, I don't believe in this supernatural thing, this, this, this over the top thoughts but so I think sometimes you have to just believe in the things and you don't have to find out about the logics and science behind it. So at that moment I decided that I'm going to, I'm going to uh, follow this thing. But there was, I was a science student so there was a certain amount of uh, doubt inside my mind with how this thing works. So I wanted to know how this thing works and after that when I came back to my hometown I started researching about it. I listened to a lots and lots of audiobooks about Tony Robbins, Bob Proctor and a lot of people and I read a lot and lot of books about the same thing and, and I was introduced to this uh, theory called NLP and I realized that this is not just a random occurrence that whatever you think happens it's actually a complete science that was developed uh, developed in Stanford by a scientist called Richard Bandler and there was another scientist I forgot the name of. But Richard Brandler, Brandler along with that scientist, uh, researchers wrote a complete book called uh, uh, Frogs into Princes. Uh, and, and that book I read, it was about NLP and NLP basically means Neuro Linguistic Programming which means Neuro means nerves and Linguistic means language and Programming means, you know programming, you just write things down in a particular order. So Neuro Linguistic Programming is basically changing the thoughts of your mind to suit your present life. So uh, initially, I thought that your thoughts can be ch your thoughts can't be changed because uh, if you are having a negative thought, you can do nothing about it. If you are having a particular thought, you can do nothing about it. But turns out you can do something about it. You can actually switch the thoughts from something uh, to something else. And uh, at that moment, I there there are two three books that were very influential in uh, stating my beliefs into these theories. And one of those books was Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Another one was Science of Getting Rich by Sir Walter Wallace and there was another book called Auto Suggestion by uh, Sir Emil Kluwer who was a French psychologist who gave this theory about auto suggestion where you can actually change the uh, train of your thoughts by thinking about something else and your own mind tells you that you are thinking wrong thing and you have to think about something else. So the bigger problem was that I, I was negative and I realized that human beings by nature are negative and uh, the, they have to make an effort to become positive and, uh, and it is in your control to actually start ch change the thoughts like if you are thinking uh, that you are poor, you don't have any money, that you are bankrupt and uh, there is no hope for you then there won't be any money coming it, it won't happen that if you think negative and the good things will happen to you if you think about negative things, more negative things will happen to you ever wonder that you get up in the morning and you are very negative and one wrong thing happens, you become more negative and then it follows a chain of more negative things happening and then you don't understand why this thing is happening and then you say that maybe this particular day is cursed. I've met a lot of people and I'm one of them. I used to feel that my birthday is the worst day ever because nothing ever happens in my birthday. In my birthday, uh, all the wrong things happen. I think it was because because I had too much ambitions about my birthday and I used to think like I, I would do that or this kind of thing happens that will happen, that will happen. And I was afraid that they might not happen. And my fear of them not happening was much more than the, my uh, my joy of it happening. So uh, it won't happen. So uh, the problem with negative thoughts and past positive thoughts is that negative thoughts are much much more powerful than the positive thoughts. So uh, you actually believe in the negative thoughts. So uh, if you're thinking in negative things, they will happen much faster than the positive thoughts because for positive thoughts you have to actually actually uh, uh, force your brain into thinking them. So that that happens really. So this book actually changed my life. This uh, Think and Grow Rich, Sir William Walter Wallace, The Science of Getting Rich. And one thing that I read in Science of Getting Rich, which actually helped me to stop researching about all these things and just start doing whatever I want to do, is that uh, in the preface of that book called Science of Getting Rich, it talks about uh, that you don't have to go into the logic and science of what it is telling you. Uh, you just have to follow the particular rules and it's going to uh, make an effect on you. And those rules are not something that he has just made up. He has read a lot of books, he has done a lot of research and people from the uh, ancient civilization already knew about this. People from the Babylonian time, people from the Indian, uh, uh, ancient Indian uh, already knew about it. The, the things are when mentioned into Vedas as well, that uh, your mind is the most powerful thing and whatever you think happens. 
so uh, you just have to take a word for them so uh, but if you but if you read this book called think and grow rich by napoleon hill napoleon hill was a guy who was uh, who went to interview andrew carnegie who was once one of the most richest man in this world and uh, he asked him what is the secret of your success andrew carnegie said i'm going to tell you the secret of my success but for that you have to work for me for next 10 years and you're not going to get paid anything so and he gave him like five seconds to think about the answer and uh, within five seconds napoleon hill said yes and then Andrew Carnegie uh, set interviews of Napoleon Hill with uh, most of the billionaires of, at that time like uh, John Ford and Thomas Edison and uh, Rutherford, uh, not Rutherford, uh, there was another guy, I forgot the name of, but he, he made him interview more than 500 people who were like richest people in the world and all of them said the same thing. That whatever you think happens, so you have to think in terms of what you ex exactly want. And there has to be a certain amount of focus. Like if you want a lot of things, there has to be one thing that has to be on the priority mode. And you need to have that burning desire to get that thing. You cannot just say that I want that and it will start happening. You have to think it again and again. If that particular thought, that particular goal uh, exists inside your mind day in and day out and you're thinking constantly about it, only then it is going to happen. It won't happen just by writing it once or just thinking it once. You have to think it again and again and while by, by thinking it again and again you actually make it uh, a, a big thing inside your mind so every time you think about your goal you add more specific things inside your mind so if you if you want to buy a car for an example if you want to buy a car and if you say that i want to buy bmw x5 and you don't know what is bmw x5 and you haven't seen bmw x5 you just read somewhere that bmw x5 is a very good car you might not get it you have to create a mental picture about BMW S5. So you have to Google it, you have to see the images, you have to see all the things that are uh, inside the BMW S5. You have to see the interior of it. You have to actually see yourself sitting in that car and driving that car. Only then it is going to happen. So every time you think about that goal, you add more specific details into that mental picture that you have created. And that is what is going to make the difference uh, to the goals that you are going to do. So I, I, I will, uh, after all these things, the most helpful part of all these things is that you you just go ahead and buy a diary and you start writing your goals each day two times i, I would suggest early morning when you get up and uh, in the evening that before you go to sleep every day you write your goals read your goals you just keep reading your goals you just keep doing that keep doing that keep doing that and it will start to happen and that that actually happened with me and sometimes when you look back and you feel that you didn't have the guts to do certain things and when you look back you, you feel that you have already achieved what you have written in those diaries and you don't you haven't realized it and uh, so uh, I don't know how it works but the thing is that if you keep reminding yourself uh, about that particular thing it becomes a part of the subconscious mind which is actually the mind which makes you do things so you keep doing those things without even knowing it so uh, when I read these interviews of people where they say that I, I never go to work I enjoy my work we were not basically on a paid vacation to somewhere so I never used to believe those people. I used to think that uh, they, they do all the hard work, but they, why, why are they saying in the interviews that they don't do any work and they are still making millions of rupees. So basically what happened was that because they loved their work and they were thinking about their work again and again that they didn't feel that it was a hard work. So hard work is basically when you are doing something and you, are, you, you face a resistance from inside from doing it. That, that's called hard work. I don't think if you like doing something and if you keep doing it, you will feel any hard work. You will just keep on doing it. Uh, Tesla used to sleep only two hours because he loved what he was doing. I, I, my sleeping hours have also reduced because of that. Because I love right now, I love my life right now and I'm doing a lot of things and I, whenever I feel uh, any negativity or anything that is not going according to my mind, I would just write them down in the manner that I want them to happen. And within some time it would change itself to the way in which it ha it would happen. So buy a diary and start writing your goals and if if, if it helps you, uh, give yourself a month. I, I won't say that if you don't believe in me, I, I, I won't ask you to believe in those books or the secret or any other thing. I, I won't ask you to change your beliefs because of me or because of anyone else. I will just say that uh, out of your entire life, there are hundreds of months that you're going to live. Uh, just give one or two months to this particular theory. I would say just give one month to this theory and every day just get up and write your goals. Every day before sleeping just write your goals and read them each and every moment. And if it doesn't change your life, stop doing it.
because it helped me it helped a lot of people and every motivational speaker every guy who wants to make you successful every guy who teaches you how to become rich is going to tell you the same thing that you have to think about the same thing again and again and uh, you cannot change that the best part about writing goals is that the uh, suppose you are writing like 100 goals which is a very difficult thing to do but uh, you are going to write like 100 goals so if you write those goals without seeing the goals uh, again uh, there are the things that do not matter to you will eliminate themselves out so uh, by the end of a week the goals that will remain that will be repeating themselves will be the goals that you actually want to achieve and they will remain there that's the best part about writing goals so keep doing it and uh, let me know uh, if it helps you if you have any comment suggestions just let me know so soon uh, another podcast of mine will come so wait for it thank you